Good morning, seniors. My name is Mrs. Ritchie, and I'm the scholarship coordinator here at Kennedy. And I'm here today to talk to you about how Kennedy can help you pay for your education. People who have it all didn't get there by accident. They made a plan and they followed through. Most people don't plan to fail. They simply fail to plan. One of the things that we really want to do is to make sure that your transition to college is smooth. That means helping you get into the college that you want, helping you to find the money to pay for your education. As you know, college is very expensive. Nationally, the costs range from $18,000 all the way to $43,000. It is a very expensive thing. Now, we're not asking you, hopefully, to, not, to pay for that all by yourself. We'd like to help you. I wanted to show you some average costs of what colleges cost here in Iowa. They range anywhere from $11,000 at Eastern Iowa Community College all the way up to $44,000 at Cornell or Luther. Now, obviously, it's a very expensive thing, and you want to make sure that the college that you pick is really where you want to be and that you can also afford it. Luckily, you don't have to pay for it, hopefully, out of your pocket. There's lots of different education funding options that you can choose from, college savings that your parents have or that you have, scholarships and grants, which hopefully a lot of you will be able to get. There's also federal education loans and private education loans, work-study programs through your college, tuition assistance if you're employed somewhere, and also the military programs. One of the things that we pride ourselves at Kennedy is that we have a lot of opportunities for our students to receive scholarships. Now, some of these are local scholarships. Some of them are scholarships that we actually get to select the, re the recipient for. But we do have a, a website that I wanted to, sh to talk to you about today. Now, this is a work in progress web page. Some scholarships have been updated from last year. Some scholarships have not been. So you need to continually check back to see what scholarships are available for you. But this is only a very small percentage of scholarships that are actually available for Kennedy students. There's so many scholarships that I couldn't even put them all on one web page. So what you do is you click on the Kennedy homepage and you go under Academics and Counselors. Now, along with all of the scholarship information, there's a lot of information on here that you should know about. There's the ACT, SAT information, information about grades and exams, there's outside links that will take you about to talk to you about college basics. The college visits webpage will tell you what colleges will, will be at Kennedy at what time. So if there's a representative that you'd like to talk to, this would be the site to go to. There's information about college planning. The federal aid FAFSA information is here. What, what requirements you need for graduation, the schedule change requests, and the scholarships, transcript requests, workplace learning connections, so much information on this web on this site that you should go to. But today I'm going to take you to the scholarships webpage. As I mentioned before, this website is continually updated, so you'll need to check back every so often to see what has been updated. If you're looking for a place to start, this would be a really good place to start. It has a whole bunch of different college searches, scholarship engines, financial aid information, testing information. This would be a really good place to start. We'll talk a little bit later about how to make sure that the scholarship site or actual scholarship that you're looking at is actually a legitimate website and a legitimate um, scholarship. Unfortunately, there are people out there that try to make money off of unsuspecting seniors and students. So that would be a good place to start under scholars, under um, Try Here. Today I'm going to show you the Kennedy Scholarships Fall webpage. Now this is a website that has a bunch of scholarships in it that Kennedy gets to decide which students are either the nominees or who actually will participate in the scholarship. This website is specifically for students that are going to specific schools in some circumstances. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Danforth Scholar. Now this is a scholarship, actually a nominee, for people that are going to go to Washington University at St. Louis. Now this is a full ride scholarship and because of that the requirements for the credentials are rather, rather strict. Um, so look at this one, and if you are if you are interested in going to Washington University at St. Louis, please email me at srichie at cr.k12.ia.us and let me know that you're interested. Now, don't just email me if you think you're going to go and may not be um, actually able to meet the requirements that are below here. Um, if you think you meet the requirements and are interested in going to that school, please let me know. That's the nomination deadline is November 13th of this year, so that's coming up in just a little bit. The next one is the Daughters of American Revolution. This is one where you write an, an essay and it goes into a whole bunch of other essays and we have regional winners and we also have national winners. 
So if you like to write an essay, please let me know. The deadline for that one is October 16th. Um, the regional winners, I believe, get a national, get a trip to Washington, D.C. to attend uh, Congress and will also get a scholarship. So that's the Daughters of the American Revolution. And no, you do not have to be a female to sign up for that one. The Eugene McDermott is for a student that's going to the University of Texas at Dallas. And again, the, the requirements for this one are pretty strict. Um, you have to have an ACT of 32 or higher, class rank in the top 5%. Um, but again, this is a full ride scholarship that you would also get a whole bunch of other extracurricular activities to go along with this one. Um, so that one is for University of Texas at Dallas. Again, if you're interested in going and meet the requirements, please email me and let me know that you want to go to the school and that you are interested in the Eugene McDermott. The application or the, the deadline for that one is November 5th. So that one's the next one is the Hesperow USCO. This is one for the University of Notre Dame. It's for $25,000 annually to University of Notre Dame. Um, if you are inter interested in going to University of Notre Dame and also meet the required credentials down here, the deadline for this one is November 1st, so that should say 15. Sorry about that. I'll change that. Um, I need to know very soon if you are interested in, in going to University of Notre Dame because some of these are coming up very quickly. The next one is Remem Remembering Martin Luther King. Um, the award it is one that the counselors pick, and the race is not considered in this one. That's one that the counselors and the scholarship committee picks for that one. The Moorhead Cane is for the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And again, that pays for all room and board, tuition, books, laptops, and other expenses. So this is an amazing scholarship. This one is coming up very quickly. The deadline for us to put our nominations in is October 1st. So if you are wanting to go to University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, I need to know as soon as possible. Please send me an email. The required credentials are down here. Um, so that one is coming up very, very quickly that we need to know immediately if you want to go to that school and meet the requirements. Uh, and the last one I'm going to talk about is the Park Scholarship. Now, this is a new one for Kennedy. We've had a couple of couple of different um, years that we've done this one. This one is for North Carolina State University, and it is also a full ride scholarship. Um, and again, this one comes up in October 1st. We have to know what two people are interested in going to the school and also meet the, the requirements. Um, you can see what the award is, almost $100,000 for in-state, which none of us are since we live in Iowa or $166,000. That's how much this park scholarship is worth. It is an outstanding scholarship. Um, if you're in interested in any of these scholarships that I've mentioned before, please email me as soon as you possibly can so that we can um, get working on those. The last thing we're going to look at is how to make sure that your scholarships are actually legitimate scholarships. You don't want to fall into the scam scholarships. Unfortunately, the way the, the world works today, there's always somebody out there looking to take advantage of another person's good nature. During your search for aid, you really need to be on the lookout for scholarship scams. Many people who are the victims of scholarship scams are already on a tight budget, so it's really important to be prepared and remain alert to the warning signs. If you have to pay to apply for a scholarship, you're probably not in the right scholarship. You definitely haven't found a legitimate scholarship. Many people fall into this trap because it doesn't seem so bad, when a supposed scholarship requests a two or three dollar application fee, but your odds of seeing any money in return are very slim. More commonly than not, you're not going to get anything out of that scholarship. Another common sign of a scam is a request for payment in order to be matched with a scholarship that suits you. Paid matching services are just not necessary. Anybody can find out information about any scholarship with just a few clicks of the mouse. Don't pay anyone to do this for you. Some scams start off by offering to apply to scholarships for you in exchange for a fee. This arrangement just doesn't work. It's unrealistic and most oftentimes it's a lie. In order to be eligible for scholarships, you have to submit your own applications and write your own essays. You cannot get around this even by paying money. Identity theft is a concern for everyone and you have to be especially careful of scholarship scams that request too much personal information. Some scams may even solicit your bank account number on behalf of the scholarship claiming they need it to deposit your winnings. They might also ask for your social security number to confirm your identity. If you experience any of these issues, do not continue with that scholarship. The last one's a little bit tricky. If it appears that everybody is eligible for the scholarship, it's most likely a fake. Scholarship sponsors usually want to provide money for college students based on a specific reason, 
cause, or achievement data. The requirements may not be prestigious, but there should be some requirements, otherwise you may be dealing with a scam. There are very few legitimate scholarships program that actually indiscriminately award student money. Scholarship scams are out there. However, you shouldn't let this fact discourage you from applying for scholarships. Just remember, if there's numerous red flags, you need to trust your instincts and not continue with that scholarship. Two more things left. Again, if you're going to be attending any of these schools and you think you qualify for the scholarship from that school, please send me an email as soon as you possibly can. Washington University of St. Louis, University of Texas at Dallas, University of Notre Dame, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, or North Carolina State University. Please send me an email telling me what school you want to go to and also your name. The last thing I'm going to have you do is to actually begin your search for scholarships. We have about 10 minutes left in the in the homeroom period and I would really like for you to try and find at least three scholarships you can use to begin the application process. So one of the places you can start is on the scholarship webpage like we talked about before. So go to go to the Kennedy homepage, academics, counselors, and scholarships. One of the things that I would also like to mention is that if you would like to set up a meeting with me to talk about scholarships, there is a, a link on the scholarships page. You just click here, put your name in, your email, your grade, and some possible times. Now if you have an AP class, please put no. I don't want to pull you out of an AP class. Not to say that not all classes are important, but if you have an open hour, that would be perfect. I would really like to talk to you then or before after school, during smart lunch, something like that, so that we can actually try and meet some, meet together and talk about some scholarships that are specifically for you. Now, if all of you put this appointment request in, I'm going to be overloaded with, with requests. I will try to get to as many people as I can in the order that I, that I receive them. So if it's something you'd like to talk with me about immediately, come in and, and talk to me. I'm in 120A. But for the re remainder of the time, I'd really like for you to start looking on the scholarship webpage or on other scholarship webpages that you can find to start working on beginning your scholarship search. If you have any questions, my office is 120A. Otherwise, I will see you when you come talk to me. Go Cougars!